Hello and welcome to the setup tutorial for Micro Epsilon laser sensors. This short clip explains how to set up ILD1220, ILD1320 and ILD1420 sensors quickly. The measuring range starts after a certain distance from the sensor. The measurement values are output from 4 to 20 mA via an analog output. The sensor outputs values beyond the measuring range as error values with 3 mA. The sensor also outputs digital values via an RS422 interface. If the sensor outputs these six digit values, the measuring object is outside the specified measuring range. Mount the sensor on a flat surface, which has good heat dissipation. For mounting, please only use the M2 screws for the through bores or the M3 screws for direct fastening which are included in the delivery. For details on the torques and the minimum engagement depths, please refer to the operating instructions. In addition, please keep the hatched area clear of foreign bodies and laser light sources. Please note that the sensor should always be positioned crossways to the running direction in order to ensure maximum signal quality. The sensor has an integrated cable with pre-assembled wires for quick connection of display and control units. Connect the voltage supply to a suitable power supply unit. We recommend the PS2020 by wiring the red and blue cables. Only apply the voltage source after all braids have been connected properly. To visualize the measurement results on a display or a process monitor, wire the white cable for the signal and the blue cable for the reference mass. To integrate the sensor in a PLC, wire the white cable with the control unit. In order to connect the switching output, wire the brown cable. For trigger, Zero, master and teach functions via the violet cable. In order to switch the laser on or off via the control unit, wire the black cable. For the reference mass, wire the blue cable. The sensor also has a digital output with RS422 interface. In order to connect the sensor, wire the green, yellow, grey and pink cables. Accessing the web interface on a PC requires an RS422 USB converter. We recommend the IF2001 USB. Connect the green, yellow, grey and pink wires with the corresponding input and output terminals. For power supply via the converter, wire the red and blue braids on the converter and connect the black braid with the laser on output. For switching functions, connect the violet cable with multifunction and the brown cable with switch 1. In order to apply the supply voltage, connect the 24 volts DC and ground inputs with the 24 volt power supply unit. To switch on the laser, now connect the two inputs with a short piece of cable. Now connect the converter and the PC with a USB cable. Two sensor LEDs indicate the measurement object position, the signal quality and any possible errors. If the sensor has been connected properly and is supplied with power, the state LED lights up green or yellow, depending on the position of the measuring object, and the output LED lights up red when the current output is activated. If the output LED lights up green, the RS422 interface outputs the measured values. If the state LED lights up red, the object is not in the measuring range or the reflection is too low. Check the position of the measured object and ensure that the sensor has been mounted correctly. If the state display does not light up, the laser is off. In this case, please check the settings in the web interface and ensure that the cables are connected correctly. If the output display lights up yellow, the current output is switched off you may reactivate it in the web interface. If the output display does not light up, the power supply has not been connected yet. 
Please check if the cables are connected.